This video is about the future, the next steps for Thomas Dimitrioff. Thomas Dimitrioff is a, well, was until very recently, the general manager of the Atlanta Falcons. He had previously worked with Bill Belichick for the first time back in the early 90s, where his father was a scout. He worked on the grounds crew, and then he did scouting part-time. He got his first beginnings in football outside of playing when he was in, in school back in Canada. Uh, he went to college in Canada, got his start with the Saskatchewan Rough Riders, was a scouting coordinator with them. Uh, then later he got promoted to work with the World League of American Football, looking at pro personnel, looking at players who were sort of on the fringes in the NFL and seeing if they might be players that should be added to their rosters. He eventually got a part-time job with the Kansas City Chiefs, eventually became a full-time scout with the Detroit Lions in 1994 and was with them until 97. Then he went, like I said, to Cleveland. If you've watched the great NFL Films documentary about the Belichick years in Cleveland, he was part of that incredible staff that had Pioli, it had uh, Coach Saban, who was a defensive backs coach. Ozzie Newsom was getting his feet wet in the world of evaluation. It was an amazing staff. But the point is that uh, he eventually worked his way up from there, uh, was a full-time scout later with the Browns for about three years, followed Belichick to the Patriots. And there with the Patriots, he really began to move up. After being an area scout, he eventually moved up to a director of college scouting and eventually it set him up to get the job that he's had since January the 13th of 2008 uh, with the uh, Falcons. He was one of the longest serving front office people in the NFL until very, very recently. And now what's next? Obviously, there's only 32 places where you can be a general manager. And though he's only 54 and a young 54, one might say, there's sometimes a challenge for someone who's already done it, has a certain amount of success, but also a certain amount of failure, to get that second bite at the apple. I would, if I were a friend or advisor to Thomas Dimitrov, and I am not, I would ask him to look to the example of Lewis Riddick, who is working in television, gives him a chance to show off his skills, how well he still knows the league, show what a great communicator he is, and build relationships. Lewis Riddick, despite not having a job in the NFL for a few years, his name still comes up every time there's a front office position for which he ought to be considered. I'll be interested to see where Thomas Dimitrioff lands next, and I'll continue to report on this as more comes in.